Welcome to today's webinar in the National President's Forum. I'm National Membership Director Lisa Smothers. Joining me today are your Student Division Presidents, FBLA National President Max Mitchell and PBL National President Kimberly Clark. You may submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. We celebrate career and technical education each year in February with CTE Month. How can you as a member or an advisor celebrate? Participate in your chapter's FBLA PBL week activities. Most chapters will have an event or activity for each day of the week. Spread the word on social networks all month long by sharing your FBLA PBL story. Share your FBLA PBL story on Twitter in 280 characters or less and include the hashtags, hashtag CTE month and hashtag FBLA PBL week or write your FBLA PBL story on our national Facebook wall or your own wall. Need some examples of stories? Let's ask our distinguished guests what FBLA PBL and career and technical education has done for them. Max, do you wanna go first? Sure, Ms. Ms. Mothers, thank you. Again, my name is Max Mitchell. I serve as the national president uh, for 2017-2018 and career and technical education has changed my life not only in terms of career choice, but also in leadership skills as well. The industry certifications I've been able to obtain have shown me what it's like to work in the field of technology and I've been able to receive opportunities like internships that I wouldn't have been able to have before. Above all, career and technical education has set me on a path to become a leader through real world exposure and career programs that have prepared me for life. FBLA PBL has played a crucial role in that growth as a leader and I can't wait to talk more about that later in this webinar. Thanks, Max. Kimberly, how about you? Thank you, Ms. Mothers. Like Ms. Mothers said, I'm Kimberly Clark, the 2017-2018 National President for PBL. I joined FBLA PBL as a freshman in high school about eight years ago, and the transformation that's taken place in my life is just amazing. I joined FBLA as an awkward freshman in high school that honestly joined because my advisor said, hey, Kimberly, if you come to this meeting, you'll get free pizza. And who's not going to pass up free pizza? So that's why I joined. But why I stayed is completely different. Um, my freshman year of high school, I had a shortcoming where I was one shy of making it to the state leadership conference. Some of my friends went to state and said, Kimberly, you know, you would have a ball at state with us. So the next year I dedicated myself to studying. Long story short, I ended up placing fourth at nationals in accounting one. Then my junior year of high school, I ran for state office and I didn't get it. But the one thing that FBLA uh, has really taught me is that whenever a failure or a shortcoming comes your way, it's not because the organization is keeping something from you or because you don't deserve it. In my case, it's been because something greater is always on the horizon. And because of uh, my shortcomings in high school, uh, I'm now able to serve as the national president. And because of FBLA PBL, I'm confident in speaking in front of other people, marketing the organization, and I'm, a de I'm definitely a confident young woman who is ready to start a career after FBLA PBL. And like Max said, my life has completely changed because of CTE and FBLA in particular. Thanks to each of you for sharing those great stories. Now, please welcome back your FBLA National President, Max Mitchell, who will tell you more about FBLA PBL Week and specifically what we have planned on the national level. Max? Thank you, Mrs. Mothers. Chapters across the country are celebrating FBLA PBL Week which began yesterday by publicizing their activities that include everything from community service projects to proclamations from mayors and governors to recognizing the hard work and dedication of local chapter advisors. Remember, FBLA PBL can serve as a springboard to celebrating the entire month of February for Career and Technical Education Month. After FBLA PBL Week, continue highlighting CTE by planning activities all month, from sponsoring a guest speaker at a meeting to promoting green activities to your members or hosting a chapter etiquette dinner. The possibilities are endless. Remember, it's not too late to recruit. Focus on recruiting underclassmen that will help maintain your chapter. Host a pizza party, movie night, field trip, or any other fun activity to, att to attract more members. Keeping your members interested and involved is the key to retention. This month is also a perfect opportunity for FBLA 
FBLA middle level, and PBL members to earn a national recognition by completing the BAA, LEAD, or CMAP programs. During this week, we encourage you to promote our mission statement, which is to bring business and education together in a positive working relationship through innovative, career, through innovative leadership and career development programs. Chapters do this through service projects that help the school and the community, involvement with our professional division members, career fairs, or by attending and participating in our co-curricular activities, including Lead to Feed, the Virtual Business Challenge, the Virtual Business Financial Challenge, and the Stock Market Game. Knowing and understanding our mission will help you sell the benefits of FBLA PBL to students, administrators, and the community. Make sure your school, local media, business, policymakers, and the community know about CTE Month. Invite community leaders or state officers to attend your chapter meetings and communicate with public officials by writing and visiting your, elect your elected officials. This is a good opportunity to take pictures and write news articles or get coverage of FBLA, FBLA middle level, or PBL activities by the local television news stations. Take it a step further and make, your, make sure your chapter is in the news throughout the remainder of FBLA PBL year. Media looks for the news that is timely, includes high resolution photos, and is of interest to the community. Things like the student award winners, group events, unique fundraisers, and projects are all great things that your chapter reporter can focus on preparing, uh, focus on when preparing a news release for the community or school newspaper or website. And be sure to share your chapter's activities with the national FBLA PBL by submitting your stories and photos for our national publications. We love highlighting the successes of our chapters and your membership as well. Often, journalists look for a hook to a story. Instruct your officers that when writing news releases, use words like first ever, best, or largest to highlight the unique aspects of FBLA in your community. Now, please welcome PBL National President, Kimberly Clark. Thank you, Max. There is still time to plan an activity for FBLA PBL Community Service Day this Saturday. You could even plan a project for later in the month and start promoting it to your members now. Service activities help your chapter get involved and contribute directly to the community. Members learn the importance of being responsible citizens and form networks with business and community leaders. Service learning helps your members learn about real-world issues, concerns, and needs, matches members' strengths with community needs, provides practical experience in planning and organizing, develops leadership skills in your members, builds recognition and goodwill for your chapter, teaches satisfaction of a job well done, and activities include working with our national community service partner, the March of Dimes, volunteering at a homeless shelter, conducting a blood drive, developing community improvement projects, or even developing a project with any other service organization in your community or school. All of your chapter's work this year leads up to the big finale, the National Leadership Conference, or NLC. By promoting the NLC during CTE Month this February, your school and your community will be aware of the fact that your chapter plans on sending representatives to this year's big event. Promotion is especially helpful when you look for funding to attend. The best and brightest of FBLA and PBL convene to compete, network, and run for national office and learn about leadership and careers through workshops and exhibits. Even if you don't qualify for the national competition, there is still something for you. With our workshop sessions, NLC internship opportunities, and open competitive events, you'll find many ways to elevate your future at NLC. This year's NLC in Baltimore, Maryland will be here before you know it. PBL's NLC is scheduled for June 23rd through the 26th, and FBLA's NLC, which includes FBLA middle level, is June 28th through July 1st. We can't wait to see how you elevate your future and network with you at the NLC. Back to you, Ms. Smothers. Thank you, Kimberly. Now it's time to share what each national officer student division is working on this year. Each division president will give a brief update, and this will be followed by an open forum in which you will be able to ask Max and Kimberly questions. 
We'll begin with FBLA National President Max Mitchell. Max? Thank you, Mrs. Smothers. Good afternoon, FBLA members and advisors. The FBLA National Officer Team hopes your membership year is going well. We are excited to see all the ways you and your chapter have been elevating your future. Many of you have taken advantage of our national programs, such as the Business Achievement Awards, the Community Service Awards, and Action Awareness. For those of you who have not gotten involved with these, there's still time. Your national officer team has been hard at work to make sure the membership year is a great experience. Through a fruit food drive that raised over 2,800 cans of food at the NFLCs, to establishing new ways of communication to keep your state officers updated and informed on new initiatives. With the help of your PBL and Professional Division National Presidents, we launched a hurricane relief initiative with over 30 requests from Puerto Rico, Florida, Texas, and the Virgin Islands. We also released a video garnering over 3,500 views and helped raise over $6,000 to benefit these chapters. Thank you for your support. We also are excited to promote the use of the financial literacy site. You can access this website by visiting fbla.org slash finliteracy. That's F-I-N-L-I-T-E-R-A-C-Y. As we celebrate FBLA PBL week, be sure to visit our website and see all the activities that you can share on your social media and that your chapter can, part can participate in throughout the week. This year, we are launching an FBLA PBL week alumni interview series. Our alumni have gone on to do big things, from launching tech startups to serving as consultants to Fortune 500 companies. Throughout the week, be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more updates on our FBLA PBL alumni interview series, as well as our former members and national officers. We are so excited to invite them back and hear their words of wisdom. Aside from all of our activities during the semester, like state leadership conferences, don't forget that there's still time to recruit new members for things like the National Leadership Conference and the Institute for Leaders, which happens right before the National Leadership Conference. New members can even compete in open events at nationals. The deadline for any new members is March 1st for FBLA and FBLA middle level. Will your chapter earn a Connect 10 award ribbon at the NLC? All you need to do is increase your membership by 10 members over last year's total. And don't forget to plan an activity to, particip to participate in your community's March for Babies for our national service partner, the March of Dimes, which the webinar kickoff will be at 5 p.m. following this webinar. In closing, we are so excited for all the things that you have done to elevate the future of this organization and our national officer team will continue to serve you in all the capacity that we can. Thank you and I hope you have a great FBLA PBL week. Thanks, Max. We'll now hear from Kimberly Clark, our PBL national president. Thank you, Mr. Smothers. On behalf of the Phi Beta Lambda national officer team, I hope that your membership year is off to a great start, and I am confident that you are elevating your future in very incredible ways. From hearing your voice through our membership surveys and state officer and member roundtables, increasing career opportunities at the NFLCs, promoting national programs and service partners, creating resource videos and guides, and publicizing the unique stories of our members through the Humans of FBLA PBL initiatives, the National Officer Team is working passionately to enhance the PBL experience for members from every state, major, and background. As we celebrate FBLA PBL Week, please reflect on what you have gained from FBLA PBL and what more this organization has to offer you throughout your FBLA, PBL, and professional division experience. To all FBLA members who are watching today, I want you to know that your journey with FBLA, PBL does not have to be over once you graduate high school. In fact, for many members who loved FBLA in high school, myself included, the real transformation to a career-minded, confident leader does not occur until the unique opportunities offered by Phi Beta Lambda are experienced. While PBL is a lot like FBLA in regards to the close relationships she'll make, competitive events, and leadership opportunities, PBL offers unique career, career experiences and the ability to run a state and local chapter in a more hands-on way, in addition to plenty of other benefits from the organization. The experiences offered within PBL are constantly expanding, and within the next few years, PBL will be transformed completely. Mark Twain once said, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. 
So throw off the bow line, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover. You don't want to miss your opportunity to explore the vast seas of the career world with PBL. Regardless of your college major, I promise, PBL will become a home for you. This year, we are launching a brand new hashtag, hashtag I am FBLA PBL, as we try to get FBLA PBL trending on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Join thousands of member, alumni, and advisors tomorrow, February 6th, as we spread the message of FBLA PBL to government officials, business professionals, and other individuals across the world. More information on what to post tomorrow can soon be found on our social media pages. You can find us on Facebook at FBLA National Center. We are on Twitter at FBLA underscore national and at PBL underscore national. Finally, follow us on Instagram at FBLA underscore PBL. As always, thank you so much for all you do for FBLA PBL. And from the bottom of my heart, I look forward to seeing how you elevate your future this FBLA PBL week. Back to you, Ms. Smothers. Thanks, Kimberly. Now it's time for us to answer your questions. If we run out of time before we get to your question, we'll email you individually. Okay, it looks like we had several questions. So we'll start with the first question from Jennifer in Wisconsin. She knows that each one reach one day is tomorrow. Can you give her tips on how to recruit members this time of year because it can be difficult sometimes? We'll first start with Max and then go to Kimberly. All right, well, uh, I'm really excited to answer this question because there's always this rumor that there's no reason to recruit members after your state's deadline for competitions at the SLC. That is false. You can always push into initiatives like the Institute for Leaders, which is great for local chapter officers as well as chapter members in terms of the entrepreneurship track as well as other open events at the NLC. Both of these are great opportunities for chapter officers and new members to have a first-hand experience of networking and national conferences, especially if they're freshmen or underclassmen. It's a great time to introduce them to FBLA and get them excited for the rest of their years in FBLA PBL. Thanks, Max. Kimberly, how about you? To kind of piggyback off of what Max said, there is so much left for members to do even at this point in the semester, and even as the state and national deadlines to compete close. As Max said, the National Leadership Conference has many experiences for members that aren't tied to competing. But in addition from that, the true benefit that any FBLA or PBL chapter has to give a member or a potential member is what you can get on the local level. So one of the best ways to recruit a member, whether it's in February, March, or even in September, is to really promote what your chapter is doing on the local level. Do you have a bonfire coming up or a game night or any other activity that would encourage members to get to know other members? Do you have professionals from your community coming in to speak and give leadership lessons and possibly have a mock interview session? Do you have a pizza party or a field trip plan? anything on the local level that will give members that one-of-a-kind experience to help them elevate their future and elevate their opportunities, their relationships, and their leadership skills is really what's going to bring a member in. So even though it's close to the end of the school year and it's close to all of the deadlines, that shouldn't matter. What should matter is what you can give the members every day to help them prosper in friendships and in life. That's a great answer. Both of you had some great answers. Um, the next one's interesting. Mark from Oregon is very interested in this new alumni interview series. I mean, he's interested in what it's all about. And he also wants to know some things that both of you learned from interviewing some of these former alumni because they're kind of at a different place in life than where you are now. So we'll start with Max. And Max, if you can explain a little bit about it and then... Um, talk about what you learned and then go to Kimberly about what she learned while doing the interviews. Sure, Mrs. Smothers. Well, the alumni interview series was a project that we started about a month ago, and we sought to find former FBLA PBL members and national officers and see where they are now. It's kind of like when contestants from TV shows reunite together. During this process, I would have to say that I learned a lot about what this organization has done over its 76 years in existence. 
In fact, when I asked Cole Simmons what FBLA PBL meant to him in one word, he said personal. And I'd always, I'd never looked at FBLA in that way. So that goes to show that no matter how far you go in the organization, there's always more to learn from other alumni and current members. And Cole Simmons was a former FBLA national president a couple years ago, and his interview was published today. There are so many different interesting stories to hear from, from alumni who are working professionals to alumni who are working in nonprofits. We run the gamut in what our alumni go into, and I'm so excited to be releasing these interviews throughout the rest of the week, and I hope that you will learn as much as I have throughout this past month. Thanks, Max. Kimberly, what about you? I wouldn't say that I learned something as much as a belief that I already had was reinforced. Uh, to explain, I, from doing these interviews, it is evident that whether I was interviewing a former PBL national officer or just a former member um, or a former advisor, that everyone who has taken a part in this organization has left transformed. Um, whether I was interviewing Tori Arnberger, who is currently serving as a state representative for the state of Kansas, uh, who was a former PBL national officer, she told me that because of her experience in PBL, she is now not afraid to speak in front of lots of people, which, of course, she has to do every day on the Senate floor and when at gatherings and festivals in front of her constituents in the state of Kansas. When I was interviewing Mr. Pierce, who was a former PBL national president from Florida, I learned that everyone starts from somewhere. And anyone who joins this organization is so far from who they will become by the day that they exit their membership in this organization. And no matter who I interviewed, it was just so evident to me that this organization, whether middle level FBLA, PBL, or even professional division, gives students the opportunity to gain skills that they may not otherwise have the opportunity to gain. And no matter where you started, what your background is, you will come out of this organization completely changed and a leader. Those are some great observations. Um, switching gears a little bit and going to our advisors, because we all know that advisors are, are truly your biggest supporters, the FBLA members. Um, Jamie from Indiana would like some ideas as to what she can do for her advisor for Advisor Appreciation Day on Wednesday. Max, can you take this one for us? Sure, Mrs. Smothers. I'll start with what we did last year as a local chapter officer team for our advisor. We all got him a poster with all of his special quotes and pictures of him with our chapter. We thought that this was really nice to put together all the quotes he was known for and share it with him to share our greatest memories with him. This year, and don't tell him this yet because we still haven't gotten to Wednesday, we are getting him a special trophy and a t-shirt that shows all of his special moments with our chapter over the past six years. We are so excited to share this with him. And above all, just make sure that you recognize your advisor for their hard work, whether it's a t-shirt, or a, a, just a card that you get him from a, the grocery store. Everything goes miles when you show your appreciation for your advisor and how hard they work to make sure that you have all the opportunities to elevate your future. That's so true. Um, we love our advisors and let's just hope Max that yours isn't listening today. <laughs> I wouldn't wanna ruin the surprise. The next question is for Kimberly and comes from Mark in Arizona. Um, he heard that you can earn digital badges for the LEAD, the BAA, and the CMAP programs. Can you explain a little bit about what this is? Absolutely. This is an exciting new opportunity that has come to FBLA PBL through one of our partners, STEM Premier. What STEM Premier is, is it's kind of like LinkedIn. It's geared more toward high school FBLA members rather than PBL members. However, there still are opportunities for members of every division to take advantage of this opportunity. So if you're familiar with LinkedIn, LinkedIn is a, an, a website where you can uh, share your qualifications, the jobs that you've had, what makes you stand out. STEM Premier is a lot like this. It helps FBLA students find colleges, and it can also help PBL students find jobs that they're interested in. And one of the unique attributes of STEM Premier is the ability to earn badges. You can earn badges for completing your, your LEAD program, 
the Business Achievement Award Program and for completing the Career Membership Achievement Program. And what those do is they show that you stand out. They show that you have completed those projects. In addition, you can also earn badges for being a state officer and a national officer to show that you have taken your involvement in the organization a step further. And I would just like to say that Send Premier definitely does offer oppor real opportunities to students. As just the other day, I received an email from the ACT wanting me to apply uh, to be a marketing director because of my profile that they saw in Send Premier. So if you haven't checked STEM Premier out yet, definitely get to it because it could lead you to a brand new future. And the nice thing about it with it being tied into the membership recognition programs is that for each level that you achieve, you can request a digital badge and it really builds your electronic portfolio, whether it be for scholarships or careers or whether you're just starting out through middle level. So it's really kind of, kind of a nice thing and a nice tie in. This next question is from Dawn in Wyoming. She'd like to have some ideas for Career Awareness Day on Thursday because she doesn't really quite know what to plan. Max, can you help? Sure, Mrs. Smothers. Well, first and foremost, I would strongly encourage anyone to watch our FBLA PBL alumni interview series. In preparation for Career Awareness Day, we will be releasing an interview with someone who's worked with Fortune 500 companies and has so much business knowledge to share with all of our members. But more than that, I would encourage you to bring in any guest to an FBLA meeting, whether it be a family member or a close family friend who have careers. Career Awareness Day is, is about showing all the different options that members can go into. In our interview series, we have members who have served as US representatives, consultants, and above all in nonprofit work. Be sure to check out these interviews to show to your chapter, and it's a great way to show them the kinds of careers that our FBLA alumni have gone into. And I always encourage members to invite people into their chapter so that you can have a Q&A session with whoever you invite in. Thanks, Max. Looks like we have time for one last question, and I really love this question. This is a student who's interested for running for national office, and he would really like to know what it's like if you're elected as an officer. So what's the experience like? What could you expect? Let's start with Max and then go to Kimberly. Wow. Well, I guess to this point, right now it's February, so I think I've been in office for a little over seven months. And I would say that it's what you make of it. More than anything, you know, the opportunities that you take and the experience that you have is all about the kinds of experiences that you let yourself have. So, so far, we've been really excited to work together. I've had the great chance to work closely with Mrs. Smothers and Kimberly Clark as well. And I've just had a, such a great experience learning from them and seeing the kinds of things that they've done for this organization. And both of them have inspired me to do even more. So one of the most uh, probably inspiring moments through, so far throughout this term was the NFLC food drive. Uh, you know, we've been able to raise over 2,800 cans of food. And it was just incredible to see how far our members will go to support our local communities. And it, you know, it's moments like those when you see the tangible effect that your leadership has on communities and conferences. And you know, that wouldn't have happened if we, we didn't have the hard work of the national staff, the national officers, and most of all, just thinking of any ideas to share because all of these tangible effects for our members always start from an idea in someone's head. And it's all about sharing them and seeing their input. And if we didn't have that opportunity to share those ideas, then we would be as where we are now. So I guess to summarize uh, my long answer, it's all about what you make of it and how, how hard you work for it. For me, it's, you know, you, I, I've been given so much from this organization as serving as a national officer. And I don't want to think about the fact that I'm more than halfway done with my terms. So, you know, I, I would just say take advantage of every moment of it. Thanks, Max. Kimberly? Well, I'd like to start out by saying that I'm a slight anomaly in the fact that this is my third year serving as a PBL national officer. I started by serving as the North Central Region Vice President on the 2015-16 team. Then I became the National Secretary for the 2016-17 team. And now I'm beyond honored to serve as the National President for the 2017-2018 term. And my experience has grown uh, through each year that I've been able to serve as a National Officer. And what I've learned most throughout my experience is definitely that like what Max said, it's what you make of it, but it's what you put in. 
one of the greatest things about life is you don't know what one you don't know what the forest that one seed could plant until you plant that seed. And mostly speaking, I'm speaking about relationships. Um, when I was first elected, I started relationships with state officers from uh, from across the country. But it wasn't until I was national secretary that I really transformed those relationships into great friendships and uh, great professional relationships that really help move mountains uh, in, for this organization. And it's also the uh, one of the greatest things that I will be taking with me when I am forced to uh, finally leave this organization in June will be the relationships that I've fostered with the national staff, including Ms. Smothers, Troy, Ms. Buckley, um, and everyone who works on the staff. It's everyone who really cares about this organization becomes part of your family and helps you grow as a personal, as a person and as a leader. And there is always opportunity to make change and to see your ideas come to fruition. For example, the Each One Reach One initiative that is uh, being shared today and being uh, promoted tomorrow was an idea that I had that national staff worked with me to see come to fruition. And uh, if you do run for national office, it's going to be one of the best experiences of your life. Um, you're going to get to go to so many cool places, meet so many cool people, and do so many cool things. But above all, if you do become a national officer, don't forget the reason you ran. Don't forget that you ran because you because this organization changed your life. And don't forget that there are many, many members across the country who will be looking up to you and just be sure to make the best impact possible for them. And best of luck as you run for office and um, I hope that everything you do elevates your future and the future of this organization. Thank you, Kimberly. What a great way to wrap this up this afternoon. Um, Members, advisors, uh, professional members, anybody listening today, enjoy both CTE Month and FBLA PBL Week. And don't forget to post your photos and stories on our social media accounts. Have a nice evening.